Hi, my name is Elizabeth Highfield from UVTV and today we'll be following the University of Bristol Food Bank on their food drops of pret manger So we're here with Jenny, Mia and Ellen from the uh, Bristol Soup Kitchen and we're basically just wondering today uh, what the organisation organization's about and how can people get involved. Okay, uh, I'm the president of the University of Bristol Food Bank Society. Um, basically we work with the Bristol Soup Run and we collect leftover food from various cafes around Bristol and then take it to the Soup Run who donate it to homeless people. How much food would you say do you get per week for you know all the donations every hour from different cafes and things like that? Per collection we probably get uh, from Pret we've got between 35 to 164 items so it varies quite a lot. Uh, in total over the last few months since November we've collected 3,500. Thank you. So is there sort of a call to arms from other local cafes and you know local business within cafes to sort of get involved? Yeah definitely because there's such a big you know homeless people are there they they need food and there is such a surplus of food from from cafes and, and takeaways so yeah definitely everyone should get involved and try and bridge this gap and bridge this um, yeah this void that we've got. How would you say like the average person, the local student, can get involved and try and help homeless people out in, in any sort of way possible? Is there, is there avenues to go down or get involved in your society? Or Yeah, yeah. so we are always looking for volunteers. Uh, we've got one of our volunteers here. Um, basically, yeah, we do like nine collections a week from different cafes. Um, so we basically need people to carry the food around. Uh, we're involved in various different volunteering things. One of the other uh, things we've got going on at the moment is trying to get homeless people to register to vote. So we need uh, volunteer students to come with us and chat to people, um, basically give them a bit more information. But yeah, it's really easy to do. We've got a Facebook page, Instagram, email. Yeah, just drop us a message. Everything's on our social media. And you said you recently got involved in uh, sort of the organisation. What, what brought you to it? What, what made you want to get involved? Um, I think just being at university can be quite intense sometimes and I think it's really important to get out into the community as well and I think we have a responsibility as you know we're very fortunate to be in this position as university students and I think if there's any way we can help um, homeless people in the community then it's really important because Bristol does have a really big homeless problem um, and I think in especially the area of the university you don't really see it as much and I think when you come down to places like Habit it's way more evident. And what types of food are we looking for if, if students suddenly feel the urge to go nate? Is it, is it tin food? Is it rice? Is it... When you, the, the kind of things that we give out and it's really quite surprising you wouldn't think about it but People are asking for tissues all the time. You know, if you're on the streets, you haven't got, you, you know, you want those disposable little packs of tissues and, and toiletries, uh, deodorant, um, pants, pants and socks we give out loads and loads of. You know, it's, you haven't got washing machines. You can't, you know, sort of live like normal people do that have homes. So it's, it's absolutely any, anything that you like having, they'll like to have. You know, but so so absolutely everything, sleeping bags, bedding, some people, you know, it's not just a case of being homeless. There are people that come along to the um, the um, suit runs that are not homeless, but they're below the poverty line. They're working, you know, but they haven't got enough money to feed themselves and their, their families. So clothes and just, just warm stuff and, you know, nice stuff. The other side of the Food Bank Society is we have donation boxes around uni um, in the big libraries so we've got one in the ass and senate in biology um queens um it's one in wills as well i think yeah yeah they're, do they're dotted around campus they're pretty obvious they've got a big poster basically we need students to donate long life food in there and then we take that down to the north bristol food bank